We mwega mwero li wakikuyu diaspora television Jita kwa jiremi damare chile ndako nyitoge ni kuregu wadhiole Vaini wa Amerika onaja wa Amerika Adwa UK how are you? Adwa kure mwena wa jema ni nediroka jema nege yu ito wa muradhi Memo nitodo wako jita kuna nego ka Nitodo gai wito ni mutuki Mutu nyawa mutu ni mute kumono Nitodo nego retu wagi kwere hera celebrities No eru gukwere ni makiri ya ma celebrity Nitodo ni akure retu wagi vuka mehaka Kame nye kana vaini wa dolele ige Ona dolele shito kana ona dolele lulu ito mono makiri ya Adwa gima ni mwenye Nye boshi ya ke no mati ya mwini no Na one gwada wikara hune kata tukoro tuke menya Evarin wanjiru Ure ya weka ini na nye bo iti ya nete Ili ya ukoro wake kwenye na Nye gwada wame nyate tithero gai ni alehi nyana Ni alehi tumi ya go sejia modo kumadhe Aka mutu wa modo mwene ne mwono Dukira mutabu ini Evarin Yes Bwana sifu sana Amen Hei karibu sana Amerika Asante sana Mimi ni meshukuru sana kukuona hapa United States Amerika kuna joto sana I know Especially kwanza hapa tumeka Hei Kuna hiva by the way Kuna I know, na unajua sana, in fact tuweko dogo itako Atlanta, Georgia Na Evelyn, mimi ata siku wanajua wewe ni mkekuyu Oh, yes, dihana ta mkekuyu ni I know, tapi kwa jokeje mwirole mito Mwana ni awosho Nyetawa Evelyn Wajiro, di Karaga Kenya Ugo, nego, ugo Demo Honoku, and I am married, and what else? I am a gospel singer, eh Hey, my husband and I, tuna producing music na watoto. Mwena tui gana? Totire. Nede murafaga? Eh, ni tuwe production. Wow, glory to God. Kukwene togo uka. Ne togo uka. Ado, iskaribu sana dhini wa Amerika. Na nedrame nyati, adogo kwa Amerika ni makunye otahire munu. Na especially, I get you. Kana nyo dhita kundu wako na ado mara uraina rubo makamaka? Everywhere. Even on a Kenya. Ninaga alafu watu wanasema haya. Newe? Eni. Wow, niki otahana ruboru wako? Tolo demo nini muno? Ruboru wako wadhiri ya muno makiria? Mhm. Loge kutika hali ya dhiri uka nani watadhiri ya? Asha, gaire, alikuwa nataka kujitukuza. Right. So sometimes akiona maybe uyu musichana ni kinua sana Kuna maali ya tafika kiburi Sijui sijei elewa kwa nini But ninasemanga mungu alitaka kuenda mbele yangu kwanza To prepare the way for me So that he can glorify himself before I start being glorified by people Amen Yes, because when you go high Watu watanza kukuita celebrity Usikei of celebrity mekuingia Uzahau your purpose I know Yes Wengi kwanza wamepitia hapo sana Wamepitia hapo sana Unatua wimbo moja You hit and you forget your purpose and why God called you. I know. Yes. Well, congratulations, Kwanza Kabisa, because we will risk here. We will be a female artist of the year. Guy, go. It was. It was 2016. Did it? Did it? Do my female artist. They are they are nominated. No one nominated. Yes. Do you know who nominated? What? Nekiama. Any? Nekiama. Where is the name? Gana idea to man a chrome maki that who nominated? How? I give money. Who nominated? Masigana. I think number two. Number two. But nili win, nili win, me win album of the year. Right. 2016 Groove Awards, Worship Song of the Year. Yes. 2016 Groove Awards. And after this year, they nominated female artist. Aya, na collab of the year. By the way, nili win. By the way. Nili kuna ngati ri. Kuna kena. Yes. Nili kama ngati ri. Nili female artist. By the way, maybe that one is coming. Amen. It is coming. Female artist of the year 2017. Yes. 2018. I've been nominated even in Saudi Saudi Awards. Female artist again. I've been nominated. That means that God really. Yes. Ana ona kitu apondani na wana inchi pia. Wow. One thing ni miona katika maisha yako. You are very humble lady. Thank you. Thank God for you. I'm humble. Because I can see your future is bright. Thank you. Are you going to look at the American and look at the American and look at the American? Here, 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 look at the American. I'm going to talk to you, by the way. Right. I'm going to talk to you, and I'm going to talk to you, because I'm going to talk to you. Mimi. Yes. Mimi, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Mahali pana hitu wa Ronda. Siju kama kuna mtu najua Ronda. Ronda, nimeishi Ronda. Ronda is a ghetto. Na napanda ndege sa hizi. Hakuna mtu mungu wa hizi inua. Hakuna mtu mungu wa hizi inua. That's for real. Wacha tuwanze sasa hapa maisha ya Evarini. Sababu mimi kama mimi mwenyewe nimekujua katika kimuziki. Wee ushialiruwa kuna okure hile kumu? Nilizaliwa Nairobi. But nimegroia Nakuru. Nakuru. That's where my mom and I to me she and my family, even my dad. Dadire Saint Mary's girls. Adawa na ikuru ni mo in Saint Mary's. Alafu dadire Langa Langa High School. After that, I went to a college called Tiers Group to study music. Yes. Kwa hivyo ata hisa utiyako unayetuanga nyolo hivyo umeisomea kabisa? Umeisomea. 
Wow. Na some but my mom used to be a musician mm -hmm. but in Bangi sana. Okay. Yeah. Na mumezaliwa mkiwa ngapi na wewe ni wangapi? Tu aidano. Atano ni atano kama ni aidano. Eh tano. Tano. <laughs> Ta, Ningeleza nikisema tano. <laughs> by, by the way kwa nini kiku yako iko na shida? Kiku yangu iko na shida kwa sababu mama yangu ni mbaluya. Oh. Mama baba yangu ni mkikuyu. Oh, nikiyo hana mo baluya. Nikiyo hana mo baluya. <laughs> But I don't think that was God's plan in my life. Right. I wanted to be a banker, mm -hmm. uh, but maisha iko alao. Why? Uliko na taka kuwa banka kwa nini? Niko na taka kuwa banka kwa sababu ni liko na fikiria ngao watu kwenye kazi kwa banka na patanga pesa sana. <laughs> Alafu, I think my life, mm -hmm. uh, w w the way I've been brought up, yes. imekuwa. Sasa ni ingeni na kizuili ama kizungu. Which one is best? Zote ni kizungu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Vinye ni melelewa. Maisha ija kuwa very smooth for us. My dad used to be a well up. Okay when we were growing up mm -hmm. kidogo until when i was uh, nine years old mm -hmm. is when things zilibadilika sure my shell badilika uh my dad aka aka ingia into some some issues mm -hmm. when he starts same apple sana you watch an impressive because he's right. he's resting in peace right. and then uh it could be to hamia nakuru when you tuli hamia nakuru mambo ikakuwa mbaya kabisa my mom started ku, ku tuchoma mahindi mm -hmm. kwa barabara tukiishi Ronda tukaenda kuishi sisi watoto wote watano tukakuwa scattered Tuka, kila mtu akapelekwa kwa familia mm -hmm. oh, kwa hivyo sasa mmehamia kule na kuru, na kuru Loda mmeacha baba yenu tumeacha baba yetu Nairobi okay. tumeacha baba Nairobi na kwa sababu mama hizi take watoto tano ikabidi sisi wote kila mtu apelekwe kwa nyumba ya, 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 ya relative mm -hmm. so tukawatanyishwa so atuku grow pamoja sana mm. sabu so, we are five of us lakini wengine wakapelekwa ku tukatawanyishwa and it was not easy for us because some of my sisters kwenye walipelekwa ilibidi uanze kuuza pombe wewe ulienda wapi mimi nilipe, nilipelekwa kwa sister ya my mom nao wengine walipelekwa kwa nani walipelekwa kwa kwa kwa, kwa relatives okay. wakapelekwa kwa relatives so ikabidi wauze wa pombe ndio maisha maisha ikwe waweze ku sustain mm -hmm. Uh, my mom akaanza kuchoma mahindi na i had to stay home for a while for like a year or two years without going to school because aku kwa kona pesa hiyo time watu walikuwa wanalipanga school fees 500 shillings mm -hmm. do you remember kuna time watu walikuwa wanalipanga 500 yes. shillings mm -hmm. and it was hard for my mom to pay for me school fees yeah akiuza mahindi yeah. na unajua ni ile ya shilingi moja moja yes na mimi ni fourth born by the way oh my god so uh ikabidi uh, aende andikwe kwa house mm -hmm. girl wa rafiki yake mwenye alikuwa anasoma na yeye primary school oh, no. how life changes mm -hmm. you know uh, na sasa mm -hmm. hii mambo yote inafanyika baba yako bado akiwa na hera ama sasa ayuko sasa, ayuko, ayuko mambo imeharibika kabisa maisha imebadilika okay. ya maisha imebadilika ma, mali yetu yote imeisha mm -hmm. so tumeanza from scratch okay. tumeanza from scratch and uh, it was not easy anyway my dad was in prison Wacha niseme hivyo kwa sababu sasa that's the only thing that made us atu, atuna mahali pa kuenda. Okay. So, um, ikabidi my mom aende kukua house girl. Kwa rafiki yake, mwenye likuwa na soma na ende, tuweze kugrow, right. kupata pesa kidogo kipata. Mm -hmm. So, ile shule ya mama angu alikuwa na somea St. Mary's, mm -hmm. alikuwa na fanya vizuri sana, alikuwa na imba. Mm -hmm. So, akiimba, shule ina win. Unajuzo music festivals. Yeah, By the way, kama kuna mtoto, mm -hmm. is this my camera? Right, yes. If you have a child and has a talent, mm -hmm. Please, kuza hiyo talent na msupport kwa sababu haujui hii talent itampeleka wapi. So, she decided to go back to that school and ask them, my daughter is here, she's very young, she's around 10 years old, na sina pesa kunini. Wakambia, eh, muhonja, wewe mtoto wako izikosa kuna ume, hizi trophy zote ziku wapa kwa kwa shule. Some of these trophies are because of you. Bring your child, tutamsomesha. Kuja, watu usilipa school fees, just come. So nikakuwa accepted shule, basikuwa na uniform, sikuwa na anything, so nikuwa nenanga na slippers na nguzangu za home. Oh my God. For the first few, few, few weeks, but someone akaguswa kwa roho, akatupatia pesa, tukaina nikanunuluwa uniform. Wow, na sasa wei masomu ulikuwa na yapata? Masomu nilikuwa na ipata, nilikuwa na ipata, 
But unajua lazima ungangane kwa sababu you don't want to be also frustrated kwa sababu unaona mama yako already yako frustrated. You have to be strong for her. And uh, we grew up in that in that in that in that situation and it was not easy for my mom kabisa. So one day my dad God alifungua tu mlango tukashtukia dadi wetu ndio yuko mlango sha amekuja ameachiliwa kutoka huko ameachiliwa mamangu at least alikuwa anapata pesa kidogo ametafuta kanyumba ka one room tuna amechukua mimi na my brother my small brother uh, tuko hapo lakini by the, that time my brother alikuwa amepeleka ushago kwa kina my mom sasa my brother alikuwa anaongea kiluya kiluya na ni mweupe ni mkikuyu karioki ile serious So when my dad came akasema anataka kuleta watoto wake wote pamoja. Tukaenda kuleta brother yangu aka akaanza kuongea kulia my dad just broke down akalia akasema shia na shia kwa gai Jesu. Siari yake barui. Siari yake barui. Shia na shia my dad literally cried because my brother is there. we only have one son. Tukana one. Alikuwa msao na kikuyu kabisa. Alikuwa msao kikuyu anaongea anasema nenya shikuria. And my dad could not believe it that my son is now speaking Luya. It's not bad speaking Luya, but you know these are your children, and there is that ego of a man. And this is the only son that he has. Some few years, I can't remember because I was small, but some few years, those few years that I was, because the last I saw my dad when I think I was in class four. Yes, class four or five. Mm -hmm. So probably three years mm -hmm. there. So see, I'm not really sure, but he stayed. Okay. And it was not easy. It was not easy at all for my mom. Mm -hmm. So when my dad brought us together, wakanza kushikana na my mom, kwanza kazi tena pamoja. Wakanza kuleta maindi na mchele, kakamega na ingine wanaenda karibu na Tanzania kuleta mchele. Biashara ikaanza kuinuka pole pole tu. Inaanza kuinuka pole pole. Ah, oh, my goodness Lord. Tukaanza kupata pesa wakafungua kaduka inaitwa Heki Food Store Helen and Kenywa mm -hmm. my dad is called Crispin Kenywa mm -hmm. and my mom Helen Mohonja so Heki Heki Food Store yeah. ikaanza kufanya vizuri when it started doing well we tusisi wote tukarudi shule watoto mm -hmm. tukaanza kukua pamoja nyumba ikakuwa warm wow. 2006 mm -hmm. mambo ikaanza tena shu dadia akaanza kuwa mgonjwa dadi akakuwa mgonjwa sana akapatwa na akaanza ku bleed ndani ya tumbo so one one day nimeenda hospitali nikapigia simu ati ame ameanguka ame, ame alikuwa ameenda kujienjoy na wanaume wenzake akatukambiwa ameanguka chini mahali ako amepelekwa medical medical ndio ilikuwa na hospitali nakuru kwenda nikamuona on on a saturday evening nikamwambia on sunday morning i'll be coming to see you and bring you tea because my mama hakukuwa kwa around alikuwa ameenda kuona sister yangu alikuwa alikuwa anaishi Mombasa by then so hizo tume grow tuko wakubwa sasa asubuhi kwenda Sunday in the morning nikapata kwenye niliacha dadi kwa hospitali kwa kitanda yake ayuko hapo ndio kitanda imeja blood sana so siko naelewa nikomza huyo jirani next ule mzee alikuwa hapa kwa hapo kaambia oh huyo alienda jana so na ushinda alienda wapi you know i'm i'm, I'm still young i mean i'm, I'm I mean I'm, I'm in school I'm in high school yes. Alienda api si at the end of the nurse oh my god so when I went I asked nurse eh, where's my dad akasema mm -hmm. oh uko peke yako nikasema eh kaniambia oh babako alikufa jana usiku mm -hmm. and it was um it was a very very emotional time for all of us because uh, we didn't know how mm -hmm. to kwira mami yake ati husband yake mm -hmm. dare kuo <coughs> kwanza kidogo kwa tunaenda break kidogo alafu tukirejea na tutakuwa tukijua sasa baba ya Evelyn ameaga dunia kumekuaje na watapata maisha yao kivipi na tena baada ya kumaliza shule alienda wapi mimi naitwa Jeremy Damaris kwa na swali 2057204397 ama mtandao wa Facebook Jeremy Damaris na hiki swahili tutaigonga mm -hmm. tusendoke kwenye mtambo na jeta kwa Jeremy Damaris Wow, karibu sana mwirodi wa Kikuyu Diaspora Television waigwa te ive wa Evelyn yakua. Kukushoka kwa biatia. Evelyn kukushoka kwa biatia. Ah, uh, my mama anakuja nyumbani, anaambiwa panaako yuko anymore and it was so devastating for her 
because kuwacho na mume si raisi especially i know even being single yes. being a single mother mm. being a widow bwana yes. uh, amekuacha wao mm. wamomo wote kuna hiyo category ya that kind of women it is not easy even being a widow mke wako amekufa it is not easy inajota siku hizi wa wa mama wanaacha wazee wao i know wa mama wanaacha wazee wao na mwanaume ana have to take care of the kids alone and it was not easy for my mom now she has to take care of these five children again alone and uh, oh god to have to embrace it but 2007 elections ika happen in Kenya na when elections ili happen in Kenya tukakuwa affected because we lost everything sasa hizi bado mko na kuru sasa hizo tuko bado na kuru maisha yetu tuliishi na kuru we lost everything na kumbuka siku moja madendege zilikuwa zinapita everywhere na vitu zote zote zimetolewa kwa nyumba zimetolewa kwa nyumba and hiyo time ndo kulikuwa kuna mafraka sana na kuru kulikuwa kuna a lot of tension tukaenda kuishi kanisani because hatuna mali pa kwenda hakuna mtu akoredi kwa tukakutakomodate because kila mtu anaogopa unajua hii mambo ya 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 ya, ya, ya ukabila imekuwa yes. na mambo imekuwa na a lot of mm-hmm. things even right now we can yeah, see no, that no, yeah. i pray that to Kenya tutaishi pamoja tutapendana regardless of my tribe yeah, no. sasa huko mko mnaonekana nyinyi wabaruye sasa si wakikui okay i see <laughs> so it was not because of us it was because of my mom. <laughs> so tuka 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 tukaenda kuishi church. Yes. <sighs> Atujui tunaanzia wapi because we've lost everything. Most of our things zimepotea zingine watu wamebeba. Mm-hmm. Zingine tume distribute kwa watu watuchukue watu weke. Mm-hmm. But I told my mom one thing you will stand. You will keep on keeping on. We will not fall. I think God kuna kitu anataka kutuonyesha. Mimi sijui ni nini anataka kutuonyesha but we will stand. 2007. We experienced that and then I became sick and my mom went into depression. Because now losing the husband and losing everything. Now here you are naye pia umegonjeka. Na wale wasichana wengine bado wanauza pombe. Ah watu liochukuliwa ngo kitambo. Si tulichukuliwa wenye dadi mtoka oh, okay. Sasa waliacha na mambo ya pombe. Waliachana na mambo ya pombe okay. tuko. Tuko sisi wote pamoja sasa sasa hizo. Tuliletwa mami wali so walikuja wakaanza biashara pamoja na dadi. Right. Akasema tuletwa watoto wetu pamoja we live as a family. And uh, when we lost everything we started all over again. I told my mom will not fall but my mom went into a very big depression akakuwa na high blood pressure ni affect sana oh my affect sana sana and uh, I, i think that is one of the things that makes us we really embrace and tunajaribu kumuonyesha there is still life yes there is still life mm-hmm. and um, i remember me getting sick nilikuwa na peer pressure peer pressure from friends nikiona mm-hmm. wasichana shule wanafanya kitu mm-hmm. nataka kufanya kama hao kwa sababu sasa nataka ku mind yangu ikuwe preoccupied with something else kwa sababu nyumbani kuna a lot of stress hakuna chakula mm-hmm. jeremy mm-hmm. unaingia kwa nyumba hivi mama anasema leo mtakunywa haka kauji na tulale mtakunywa hii kauji na tulale stima inazimwa na watu wa unijue kuna time stima zilikuwa zinazamanga na watu wa pawa so tulikuwa tunajaribingi tuna tunajaribu ku fix tuone kama tunaweza six kifika tunajaribu ka fix tuone tu kamwangaza eh Mama anasema kesho nitajaribu kudhukoma kitu nione kama tutapata chakula. Yes. Vumilieni tu. So mimi dude to peer pressure nikaanza kukua influenced mm-hmm. my friends. One day nikaanza kutumia kitu inaitwa roller. Mm-hmm. Nata ni very it's very it's very symbolic that today tuko mahali kwenye watu wanakimbia around mm-hmm. naona huku. Mm-hmm. So roller nikaanza kutumia roller ika affect mgongo yangu. Mm-hmm. Mgongo yangu yote ikakufa nerves. Oh no. Ika affect miguu singeweza tembea. Huh? So nikapelekwa medical. Uh-huh. Kufanywa? Sasa so, tunaongea mwaka wa 2000 what? And 7. Okay. Mgu yangu yezi tembea 2008 ninataka ni, ni, kukalia mtiani siezi miguu haisongi. Mguu haisongi imekataa kabisa. And I was so I was so depressed because I didn't know what to do anymore. I am a young girl. Right. This my life has come to literally an end. Mm-hmm. My mom started like now he imekuwa too much depression double 10 0 double 3 mm-hmm. so kwanza kunifanyanga 
special special therapy na pale kwa hospital inaingishwa kwa machine mwili yangu yote inaingia ndani hiyo machine ndio stima inawashwa inachoma kutoka kwa waste inachoma mguu yangu ipate uhai mguu inakata kabisa inakata kabisa and that is when nikiwa kwa hiyo hospitali nikaambia mamaangu nataka uniambie kama huyu Mungu wako akaniambia Mungu wako akaniambia you know what God is real right. and then i just took my bible and i read mm-hmm. and the bible said that our god is able mm-hmm. to do exceedingly mm-hmm. abundantly above all right. we can think mm-hmm. or imagine mm-hmm. nikasoma job job anasema nika mamangu akaniambia unajua maisha yetu si kama ya job nikamwambia pana maisha yetu ni kama ya job kwa job alipoteza mali yake right. watoto wake walikuwa mm-hmm. you know i feel i'm almost becoming like job mm-hmm. What is it that God wants with me? Mm-hmm. See understand. Mm-hmm. Job akasema I know that my redeemer liveth and at the end he shall stand upon the earth and after my skin has been thus destroyed then from my flesh I shall see God. Mm-hmm. I think I love the way Kikuyu inasema mm-hmm. atinejoe muhotaniri mm-hmm. wakwa mm-hmm. ale mungu ali ale muoyo. Ehe mm-hmm. ali muoyo. Yes. It when you do it in Kikuyu it's when you read it in Kikuyu yes. it is so strong yeah, that than even saying it in English. And um, God I will heal you. Mm-hmm. But I want you to do one thing for me. I've given you talent. I want you to expose it and spread the word mm-hmm. to the people through your talent and tell them that I am the healer. I'm going to heal you and I'm going to restore back what the locust has eaten in your life. Mm-hmm. And I thought, "Hey, what am I hearing? Isn't it nasikia vitu zangu kwa masikio?" And um, God healed me. And I remember doing the song waweza Wow. Kwa hivyo song waweza ilitoka hapo. Ilitoka hapo kwa sababu ya situation yenye nilikuwa ndani. Nikasema God is able. Waweza. Waweza mokozi. Waweza mambo yote. Wewe mwaminifu. Mm, waweza. Eh. Uh-huh. Wewe. <laughs> <laughs> Naweza imba unajua tukifika hapo sasa inat, inatuzamisha. Inatuzamisha. Yeah, I know. And so wow. nikafanya waweza. <laughs> Waweza became a song that sikuwa na mtu akuni record mm-hmm. but niko na hii wimbo mm-hmm. na sijui mimi sikuwa nafikiria ndio wai record mm-hmm. anything mm-hmm. my mama kaniambia you know what siku moja Mungu atakufungulia njia because my dad told me one day i know you're going far na utakuwa mwimbaji mkubwa i Kenya nasema hawa kwa sababu nilikuwa mama kanisa walikuwa wanaitanga mama assembly mm-hmm. mama assembly ni, nilikuwa napenda church sana mimi ni msichana wa church kabisa wow. na Siku moja nikikoa kanisa nikiimba na lead worship. Nikaimba naimba 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 ini story nyingine. Ah uh, na lead worship and then I see someone coming in the church anaingia kutafuta I think mi unajua ukikuwa pale kwa madhabahu yeah, unajuanga like everyone when, when you're there for a long time. So this guy comes in, sits down, naangalia naona hii kuna kijana ameingia hapo. Mm, Ako sawa. Ai. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini unajua ni msichana na nyinyi. Uh-huh. So sichana tunakuwa na shida sana. Mm-hmm. Tuwezi sema yeah, unasikia roho ina raha kubasi. Mm-hmm. But I said anyway, hey, wacha ninaweza kuwa ninaangalia. Mm-hmm. Eh mtu wa wenyewe, yeah, wacha ni ni relax. Yeah. So this guy kept alikushinda akikuja kanisa kila wakati. And um, siku ya najua ni nani. So siku moja nika nikakuja church late kidogo. Asha akanipeleka nikaketi kando yake. Mm-hmm. Jeremy, siku anashikika. Hiyo kiondo. <laughs> Naka hivi pasta anasema turn to your neighbor give them a high five tell them welcome into the presence of god i'm telling you mwanake huyu huri hakutan alikuwa tv tai nilikupa yeah. moyo hakutan <laughs> enye wanaume sometimes kwani hakuwa naona kile wewe ulikuwa unasikia sijui kama hakuwa naona <laughs> na shindi na shindango aje yani anakatwa miangalia hivi mbele hai nikajiambia hapa Evelyn umeambulia patupu mm-hmm. mo so nika nika relax tu because this guy i i, I thought unajua hiyo siku nilikuwa nasema Mungu amenionekania so i just pretended I've, i'm not noticed and then after the service another sunday mm-hmm. tukagongana kwa mlango ya kanisa mm-hmm. chap akanisalimi akasema hi evelyn he jeremy mm-hmm. nilikuwa naongea na friend yangu nikamwambia nda kuongelesha ngoja baadaye mm-hmm. so i started talking to this the same same guy right akana nikamza how did you know my name i said i hear pastor calling you every day kuja kuongoza ibada yes. kambia wow Jeremy nilikuwa na zubana dental yake you know his teeth zimpangana hivi nilikuwa na zubana 
Kwa jia ufupi hapo sasa ulipata mtu. Ama sasa ilikuwa tu ni mambo tu ya kupita. He? Uyo mtu mm -hmm. akaniambia jina yake kwanza. Mm -hmm. Jina yake ikanimaliza. Akaniambia my name is Agunda Bueni Akweyo. Wow. Yoni ya wapi? Ya hofa huyo re. Umemlata. Mm -hmm. So he said, you know what? Um I I I want to take you for lunch. Mm -hmm. Nikaenda nikamwambia mamangu kuna mwanaume anataka kunipeleka lunch. Mm -hmm. Mamangu akaenda kanibaia nguo. Wow. Kwa sababu yako anaamini kuna mtu anataka kunipeleka lunch. Mm -hmm. Sababu yeye nilikuwa nimejiekanga tu. Akaniambia nikatukaka chini akaniambia you know I'm not uh, looking for a, a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a wife and that is why I've called you here. Wow. Nikamwambia I'm not ready to, to be somebody's wife. Na wewe ni nani unakuja tu hivyo direct unaniambia hivyo mambo. Akaniambia and you know what? Uh, the Lord has asked me to resign my job mm -hmm. and become your music producer. Wow. So I've been looking at you for the past eight months mm -hmm. in church. It's like carrying a pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So it's time for me to give birth. Mm -hmm. Eight months, the ninth month is when a woman gives birth. Right. And I said, who are you? You know, Johnny Lena Kama ni Malaika Kasema, I want to start recording you. Mm -hmm. But I, I want you to tell me your stand. Mm -hmm. Because me is taking you into a relationship, yeah, yeah. Unanipenda, mina kupenda sana. Yes. Siku hesitate, nilimuambia ya yata mina kupenda. Kanambia ya, nikamambia, but you have to give me four years. Will you wait for me for four years? Ukamambia kupe four years. Yanini tena? Sia kungoja, nione kama kodini yako serious. Oh my God. And he said, yes, I will wait. Nikasema, unanidanganya. Kwa sababu, you know, ume wa Nairobi. Yes. Na mimi ni wanakuru, nakuru, kuna kake shagi, shagi hivi. And he waited for four years. But in that four years, we opened a studio. Our studio yetu ni itua Buenive. Buenive ni Agunda Bueni, his name and my name. Ni prefix na fix, ni tangu waji, Evelyn and Bueni. So Bueni Eve, Bueni Eve Studios. That's when we opened the studio and I did the song Waweza. We didn't have anything in the studio. Nilitumia microphone ya church. Iye nakuanga na kamba hivi, kurekodu Waweza. So ni ya napuchezea nyimbo? Kwa hivyo hii wimbo wakati ulitoka tu, hujawa hii repeat ni vinyetu ilichezo mara kwanza? Vinyetu ilichezo mara kwanza. Akai record, tukajaribu kutafuta wa watu wenye tatupatia loan ya kumunua vitu za studio, hakuku wako na mtu wa kutusaidia. So, akasema, tachukua loan ya 7,000 ya kumunua computer na microphone ilikuwa kwa inauzo 1,000 bob. So, tukaanza, tukarekord waweza. Kurekord waweza, God ni nani, song ikaenda. Sikuwa na pesa video, video ilikuwa 7K, sikuwa na yo 7,000. Na ya ana. Atuna hiyo pesa, so we started, tukasema wacha tu-release song venye hiko hivo. Ikanza kuimbwa kwa prayer center na kuru. Prayer center kiimbwa, worshippers wakisikia, wanaenda, wanaenda, wanaenda kuziimba. So song ikenda mbele yangu sabasina video, unajua when you don't do a video of a song, the song ina, watu wa juwangi ni nani, unless waone, waku watch. So we decided to start a video, a production house, a Bweni production, but people didn't trust in us. My, my mom's best friend akase, akatuambia, do not despise a humble beginning. Right. And I did not despise this man. Wacha cha niulize, saizi munafanya imambo yote badu hamjawana? Atujawana. Na munafanya nini pamoja? Si tunafanya production, tumeanza biashara pamoja. <laughs> hapo sandi yu production ya matoto itaingilia? Production ya matoto itaingililia hapo. <laughs> Lagini ya hiku ingililia, Jeremy Bado. Mm -hmm. So tunajaribu ku... ku kujestablish. Tunaona kama hii biashara itaf, itafanyika. Right. Because I knew this will be my husband. But I wanted to be very, very sure. Yes. Sikutaka kuingia kwa relationship enye, itatoka tena the following day. Yes. But I loved him. And when he came to our home, he told my mom, I want to be a son in this house. I want to be a son in this house. I want to be like a father, father figure. Wow. And he, he was loved by every one of us. Kila mtu alimpenda, my sisters-in-law, my brothers-in-law. By the way, mungu alikuwa mesha inua madada zangu sana. Wow. Your time, wakaenda wakaolewa. Uh, all of us, I, mimi I think doni maolewa tu na mkenya, wengine wote wajolewa na Kenyans. So we, we thank God because God alitutoa mahali. Amen. Wacha sa tujue sasa Everine, sababu Everine is a public figure katika inchi ya Kenya. Jina Everine, rimeibuka vipi na ribuka lini ukajulikana mpaka sasa hapa Amerika? Venye mungu alianza kutuinua kwa production na kuanza kuinua kuimbaji wangu, nikianza kufanya waweza kwa makanisa, nikitafuta opportunity za kuimba. Nika, ni, li, I lost a lot of friends because wengine walianza kusema ni najisikia tsa uka wimbo kangu kameenda juki dogo. Nika ambia ta wimbo ijaenda ata sijafanya ta video. Wakaniambia, 
I lost so many people. By the way, when God is about to lift you to another level, yes. you lose, lose a lot of people. And that is when Zaidi Ayote came. Zaidi Ayote utabaki kuwa mongo. You are not a man. You don't change like people. When you, are, when you, want, to, when you want to elevate somebody, you are not jealous of that person. You will still remain God and you will delight yourself in them. That's true. And like men, mm -hmm. friends will change, men will change, mm -hmm. husbands will change, wives will change. Yes. But you, God, will never change. Wow. Hapo ndi sawimbe kakuja. Zaidi ayote. Ebutu kongea kidogo. Alo kapera. Zaidi ayote. Utabake kwa mungu. Hafa na omega. Ubadi liki kamwe. Zaidi ayote. Utabaki kuwa mungu, mungu, alfa na omega, <laughs> ubadi liki kamwe. Wow, sasa wakati ulibaki na ukajulikana kama a superstar katika nchi ya Kenya. Mm. Mama yako sasa alisema vipi? Your sisters walisema vipi? Wale watu walikuwa naona pale uh, nakuru? Wow, sasa ndo ilikuwa something else. Mama angu hata aezi omba kitu, hati aende ya seme, hati nataka kitu. Mm -hmm. Mtoto wake ni tajiri sasa. Mtoto wake ni superstar. Ni kama wimbo ikicheza kwa TV, <laughs> pesa zinakushangwa. Sha, sha, sha. I know. So I think that is what mentality what most human beings wanafikirianga mm -hmm. right. when you're there, but it's a process. Yes. It is a process. Mm -hmm. You have to work out things, you have to make strategies ya mziki venye tauzwa kwa, kwa market. Mm -hmm. And um, I thank God because zaidi ya yote ili nipeleka level ingine. Amen. Na ndio mpaka imekuleta hapa Amerika. Na ndio imenileta hapa Amerika. Sasa ningetaka tukirudi uniambie sasa challenges zenye umepata katika hii muziki wako sababu kuna watu wanafikiria ma superstars hawa patangi challenges. Yes. Labda sababu wewe ni mshana mrembo bado kuna unaenda kama ukikuja hapa Amerika kuna watu wanakuwa nasema hii ni eh, anje. Sana. Wewe kwanza niliandikia this time. Eh. <laughs> niliandikia nyingi kwa Facebook. Eh. Ah. <laughs> Wacha tukirejea je tutakuwa jeremi demaris <laughs> tutakuwa kwenye maudhui mashoka na hii kule ndio mnaona kada dada no. Nitoa mungu ambolea like try na kesia tu na niliona kuna kadegi kuita go kadia kuga jeta ko jemi da bares na bas mensi ni 
Hey, karibu sana mwerewe wa kikuyu da Yaspera Television na ithegi mwono ntodo wadu gemu nukule gudhi marajiri hati ni marakini yonu wira wa Evelyn na matiwe ya tenue wa ini uini tenye boishio na rune makina mwono ukoro makimuona na makimume nya niko kuroge kwera kuri ya guwa vio lio geda kumweta Zaini wa UK to ndra minya alina zafari ya kuka UK Alina zafari ya kuka Sweden Tawane juu ni di mashabiki mege muno Na alina na zafari ya kuka Germany Muge da kumu ita kuhule Muge mu ita hata Tawane na kea hali Neto kukinya hau Everin Omuvyo yuwe mudo uwe kaine muno Na niju kule do the auto kwa igate Kule do mwona ga Ruiboru wa kuruwa dhakwa tv ni makame nyarugu eno watu Ekile miri onea Matiwe ni kule challenges mu face aga Which are some of the challenges that you face? Oh my god There are so many challenges Kwanza ni tasema Wana muini Right ametoa CD respect that person yes. because you ujui kanya ame go through nini hata kama I, kuna mtu anamjua hata kama ataimbia mtu mmoja kwa kiti right. respect that person i respect musicians i i i honor them yes. i honor the oil upon their lives whether mtu akona akona neg akona unajua kila mtu akisiki kila mtu ako perfect yes i i honor the oil because ni watu Mungu amewatuma right. one of the challenges mimi napata ni to make sure that my music goes viral right to market music kwa kila you know do music and make it to make it to, um, enable people to have it right. that is one of the challenges and i know it's a challenge to even musicians wengine wana nikolingwa na nambia ndafikisha jamzi yangu kwa media you know number two, another challenge is doing a good video mm. right now videos are very expensive if you want to do a, a video it really cost you a lot of money right. number three, this is the most hardest mm -hmm. to do a song that will go beyond what I, I had done. Right. You see, I was in Mwaweza, mm -hmm. and then I did Zaidi Ayote. Mm -hmm. So there is this expectation. Kuna wimbo, hii wimbo next that atoa itakuaji. Karisana. So that is the biggest challenge. I know. To, to beat, to, to do or to beat the limit, mm -hmm. or to, to go above that, to right. go above where you are. Mm -hmm. Kufanya song ingine hit, hiyo ndio challenge kubwa by the way. Mbaji wanafikiri angatini pesa ya studio, pesa ya sujia nini, mm-mm. Kuna watu wanatoanga wimbo moja ina hit peke yake. Ukitoa wimbo wengine zote zinagonga mwamba. Hakuna yenye ina ina, ina hit. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you have to go back. Unaambia Mungu wewe nipatie ka wimbo kingine ka, 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 kenye kata hit. Mm -hmm. So ukiona mwimbaji ako na wimbo kama tano sita mm -hmm. zenye zime. Hiyo ni, ni kibali. Hiyo ni kibali. Hiyo ni kibali. Sasa kama wewe mwana muziki ambao tunatumshaona wana muziki wengi sana ambao wakisha kuwa ma superstars huwa sana sana ambao mazao zinaisha. Mm -hmm. Sasa kama wewe umekuwa superstar umeweza aje kusimamisha ndoa yako naona especially women mm -hmm. mtu akipata yes. pesa jina sasa wewe unaacha yule mzee umeniambia mlitoka naye pale na microphone ya kanisa I'm telling mm -hmm. oh my god mm -hmm. Jeremy you make your husband your friend Right Unajua friends mnaweza kosana yes. na mrudiane Mnaweza muda kosana na mkikaa chini ku reconcile make your your husband your best friend right. number one one of the things that imefanya mimi ndoa yangu nimeka ndoa for five years right now tuliamua jua haita why enda chini kama hatuja sort out issue yetu hakuna mtu ataingia kwa hiyo bedroom yes. kama hatuja sort out issue yetu mm. how do you say it in kikuyu asha yoa oleta nadhua yes it will not go down yes. kabla hatu just reconcile mm. why Watu wengine wako na king size bed. Wengine wako na 1 by 6, wengine wako na 3 by 6, wako na 4 by 6. When you have a king size bed, when you go to that bed, you are capable of sleeping to that corner. Na mwingine iko na, hakuna time ya ku reconcile. So we decided we will not allow the sun to go down. Kabla tuja reconcile. Why? Because at the end of the day, this is the person that I will go to bed with. Nikipenduka hivi yende ndaona for the rest of my life mark you back till death do us part. That is one thing that we decided. Mm -hmm. Number two, if I know who my husband is in my life, yes. I, I will honor him. Mm -hmm. But if I just take him as l l other men, mm -hmm. like he's my brother or my, mm -hmm. my friend or whatever, no. I will never honor him. Mm -hmm. Number three, African women, mm -hmm. I know I will tell, even, uh, even in diaspora everywhere, right. an African woman mm -hmm. 
has been taught she knows better yes Mwanamke, mwanamke wa Kiafrika we know better. We've been taught since we are young whether you are Kikuyu or Jaluo we know how to honor our men. Right. It's not that at kuna marriage yenye ni perfect. Kila marriage iko na ups and downs. But we we honor honor your man. Right. And us women I will tell women to jaribu kufunga midomo. Yes. Mimi naweza ongea sana. Sometimes najua anga naongea. Mm -hmm. Na unajua tunaongeanga sana tunasahau. Yes. Tunaweza usema kitu hiyo mwanaume apenduke unajua mwanamke mwanaume ni simba anakuanga na two faces yes. anakaanga to calm <laughs> my husband is very calm provoking you will see a different man yes. so learn your spouse tujaribu ku tame our tongues it is so hard for a woman to shut up lakini sisi sometimes wanawake ndio tunavunjanga nyumba zetu mm. kwa sababu ya hizi midomo zetu we can say something a man has patience most men yes. whether mwanaume anaongeanga sana ama ongeangi sana yes. wako na patience sana right. but tame your tongue as a woman Amen. and it will make you have a peaceful home wow. and that is why wanasemanga mwanamke ndiye anajenga nyumba yake wajasema mwanaume mwanamke kwa sababu ya nini wanasema mwanamke god gave me a revelation because as women we are the one who talks a lot sisi ndio tuko na say wewe ndio sisi ndio tunaingianga kwa kitchen tunafanya mambo sisi we are, we are literally everything mm -hmm. a man cannot do all that I know. whether you are a, a white person whether you are a black person yes. women we have the power wow. of a house and so i pray that god will give us women wisdom amen i am so sad and i am i'm not provoking anyone that is out of their marriage maybe your marriage ilikuwa so tough mm -hmm. i don't know mm -hmm. but one thing i will tell you make peace with your spouse before going to sleep i know that's very that's a very good advice na sana niulize sababu sasa nafikiri ni mara yako ya pili kuja america ah unajua wana muziki sana sana wakitoka kenya wanakujanga na majina hapa america ukikuja unakuta is something different sio kama vile tunafanyanga concert kenya watu wanakuja wanashangilia your first experience hapa america ilikuwa vipi culture shock oh my god let me tell you I will say this and I will say it once. Right. Sitaisema mara mbili. Mungu akikupatia neema ya kuenda mahali upate mkutano imetengenezwa na imeja. Yes. Imba. Mm -hmm. Na uambie Mungu asante. Kwa sababu inahitaji mtu mwenye ako na enough grace yes. akikuja mahali na apate mm -hmm. wawili ama watatu. But the Bible says we are three or two are gathered. Mm -hmm ako hapo pia but you know jua Kenya tumezoea masses crowds when you get that thank god i started giving god glory venye nilikuja america ndio nilisikuchukua na yenu mkutano yote pastor anita kenya ninaenda mbio kwa sababu kwenye nimetoka ninajua what it takes to gather a mass of people even only 10 even 15 that's true it takes the hand of god and then when you come to the diaspora and you find out that people don't know your music mm -hmm. it clicks something in your head yes. in a manisha ume exhaust kenya mm -hmm. you have to expand your tents now right. Right. expand your tents so that people can know you here yes. sometimes tunakuja na expectation oh mimi najulikana kenya hata huko ndajulikana oh my god uh -huh. tembea kwa street uone venye hakuna mtu atakusalimia hapa hakuna mtu atakasi hakuna mtu atajua yeye ni celebrity you know it really it 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 shows you a lot right. it will teach you how to be humble mm -hmm. i know because when you walk in kenya mm -hmm. unapata picha yako miaka mbaka kwa matatu i know unafikiria you take it for granted mm -hmm. come to another country and you see when people are not even they are less concerned about you mm -hmm. That is when you will know how to do. Hata kama size tuko hapa kwa kiwanja wazungu na pita tu hawajui ni kuna celebrity hapa. By the way, one idea. One idea by the way I'm telling you this. One idea who who both of us are and that one will teach us to be humble and to 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 be gracious to God for every opportunity and every and every favor that he gives us. Amen. I think we take favor for granted. Unaona Mungu ameinua mtu, mtu anaanza kukuwa kwa na, na, na nini na kiburi. Right. Unafikiria hiyo favor ni kwa, God amekupatia tu for uh -huh. nothing. God hajakupatia <laughs> just for nothing. 
you take it for granted nasikia kupreachia sasa hizo watu wenye wana wanakuwa na alafu wanaanza kufanya muziki zinakaa za ajabu naona naona sasa inaanza moto inaanza kuja wacha niulize hivi sababu nimeona wana muziki wengi sana especially nyinyi ma celebrity sasa mtu mtu akipata pesa unasahau na mzazi sasa wewe unaenda unajifanyia mambo yako tukikuona kwa mtaa wewe ni superstar lakini mama yako analala huko mtaani ja bado leo mama yako anauza mahindi oh my god never hey i'm telling you sometimes i think i work so hard for her right i work so hard for her because we have really tumemleta tume hapa karibu na tumemuonesha a lot of love wow. I cannot allow how how, mm -hmm. how will I allow my mom to sell bays mm -hmm. alafu nitatembea aje kichwa wangu hata hiezi luka hivi it is so a shameful when god blesses you whether you are a musician or not this goes to everyone that god raises them from nothing and they forget their parents mm -hmm. the bible says honor your mother and father right. i just say honor your brother and sister mm -hmm. Honor your mother and father because right. those are the people that have brought you in this world. That's By right. the way, kama hawa wili mama na baba wangepatana, haungetengenezeka kwa tumbo. So I value my mom. I respect her. I honor her. She is one of my mentors. She is one of my role models. She is my anchor. I say she has really walked with me in this journey. I, I, I love her strength. Mm -hmm because it has made me to be more stronger. What on Elizanga how old are you? Yes, I'm very old. I'm 27 years old. And I thank God for this far he has brought me. Jana mna chekelea miaka yangu. Yeye wewe ni mdogo sana. Wewe ni mdogo sana. Wewe wacha yangu. Yangu ni mingi. Kama kama 1978 tuki tulikuwa tunazika Kenyatta na nilikuwa mkubwa bado. 78. Eh. 78. Nilikuwa nilikuwa nilienda mazishi ya Kenyatta. 78. Eh. Jana mko ni kote. Yes tutaongea siku ile tukimalizia program <laughs> tukimalizia program yetu na Evelyn najua sasa kuna watu hapa diaspora mm -hmm. wangetaka kukuita event yes. uh, sijui unapatikana vipi uh, unaweza nipigia simu uh, nitawapatia namba yangu ya Kenya right. uh, plus 254 plus 254722084 7284220284 alafu ingine ni plus 2547216882268 wow kwa hivyo mtu akikuo akipata kwa whatsapp hiyo hizo ni whatsapp utaniona tu niko online okay. eh ni kiblutik kujua kwa hivyo wewe sio wale wa celebrity wana wana ignoranga messages uh, <laughs> ni kibluti ni kujua nimesoma unajua kibluti ni zile tu tiki tuili hivi yes. ina inaonesha nimesoma wow. and then i'm on facebook you uh, evelyn wanjiro right. uh, dot a mm -hmm. a uh, evelyn wanjiro dot a you, um, uh, that is facebook page and then you can uh, you can like my page at evelyn wanjiro uh, then i'm on instagram kwanza instagram jamani fuata huko ndio naekanga mambo sana mm -hmm. na facebook uh, at evelyn wanjiro underscore a hiyo ni hiyo ni Instagram. Jari mimi wewe Instagram. Niko kwa Instagram. Mimi niko kwa kila kitu. Niko Instagram, Twitter. Kwa ngapi Instagram? 10,000 kitu kama hiyo. Ah watu wa diaspora nyingi ndio wanapenda internet sana. Mko na internet everywhere. Fuateni Jeremy kwa Instagram. I know. Instagram is the in thing by. Tafadhali nifuateni kwa Instagram. I love on Twitter at evelyn10_a. Yes. Wow, asante sana. Tunashukuru sana na ina believe watu watakuita kwa my event zao. Ni uli hagia besha. Ah if you want to bless me, if you if I have blessed you Of course you will want to bless me now. Ah ah. Lakini nitawapa Jeremy atakuwa manager wangu hapa diaspora. I know. Hiyo hiyo lazima tuta organize. Hawezi kutoka Kenya alafu arudi nje mtupu kwa ama mkono tena mkono mtupu haurabi. In fact who is your role model tukimalizia? I I I have so many role models. One of my role models is my husband. Why? Because he's so talented in me and he nurtured it and made it to be what I am today. He's a man that has made me to be who I am today. Um, another role model that I have is my pastor. My pastor, uh, Bishop Ken Kimewe, Sitam, by the way, in a fellowship, Sitam, uh, Buruburu, is my role model. And among the musicians in the world, one of my role models is Don Moen. Why Don Moen? Uh, because he, up to date, akifanya wimbo, unasikia tu ni kama God ako tu bado. Sarakiarie, is another one wow. she has been there mm -hmm. up to date mm -hmm. she does a, she's still there mm -hmm. there is something peculiar about mm -hmm. her she is a mother mm -hmm. she has worked with me wow. and i value her and i salute her amen mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Niko na wimbo mpya by the way inaitwa Sawa uh -huh. lakini wacha tuimbe ho sana kwa sababu yes. najua Jeremy anapenda ho sana sana. sana. <laughs> oh sana 
Haleluya Hosanna Hosanna Haleluya Hosanna Guru masema Hosanna Jeremy jira I can't I can't I can't siwezi imba Siwezi imba lakini unaweza guruma wanaume wengi wana Ni guruma aje Hosanna Hosanna Tetapi jadi video mari sekali itu kerana dimetu ini every new ajaru nanti ahyana nabi syakin action ini rasional hari aranilia nake nanti dia ni aku rokimu invite ohiki kerana ni pre wedding kerana event itu dia nak aku Amerika UK Germany Sweden togo kerana ke DMC nake lagi dia rebo jadi tak boleh jadi video mari kuma aku waktu kuyu diaspora televisi no gerak tu kerana itu kau ni program itu the www dot kuyu diaspora dot tv kerana subscribe channel itu ya YouTube nanti dia korang wakem kira video situ show dia gaya itu kerana dia nak aku ke mau demi asal sana every thank you thank you God bless Amen.